Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, in today's video, I'm doing a small unboxing from another supplier. Um, before I get into it, if you do like my content and you do want to support me, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, the groups have absolutely run me ragged. So, if people were are in the market to sell, like it's it's really strange. Like a lot of people have been contacting me via YouTube. It's not a sales channel. It is an educational channel. But if people want to buy and sell from seeing me on YouTube, that's perfectly fine, okay? Just please contact me uh, privately and that's that's fine. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about an unboxing. I, I approached this dealer. I actually consider him a friend. I haven't spoken to him for a while though. He's been super busy. He's got another business. Oh, he's got a few other businesses. And I just said, so I'm not going to lie, the groups have run me ragged and I need stock. Do you have anything where I can make my cut? Um, the price has risen, risen a lot. And I think he was happy to, to sell me some stuff. He could have he could have made some more, um, but he just turned around and said to me, so I'll see what I can do. And that's what he did. So he sent some stuff my way. Really grateful for it. Oh, there's a queen round. Don't think he meant to send that one. Oriental borders. I had one these yet. It will be for sale. Yeah, I'll, I just said to him, I was like, I'm in a bit of a bind. I was like, Dragon bars, three of these. I'm in a bit of bind. Can you just help me out? I was like, even if it's 20, 30 ounces, I think it, I think it was, so I think it was about 20 ounces in the end. He chucked in some gear office. Always got time for these. I asked, I've been nagging him about these for a while. And he's like, no, they sell well. You're not having any, go away. I was like, ah, okay. I don't really know what he sent me. Um, oh, I remember. I remember. I need to touch this on the rim. I don't really touch silver on the face, so everyone knows you get finger marks over it. I think the rest are Brits. Let's have a look. Two. So five of them. Five Brits, eight Brits, 10 Brits. So yeah, he sent me 20, 20 ounces plus the gear offers. So I paid more than, more than spot as well. I just said to him, I was like, just want to make my cut. So he was happy to oblige. I do owe him one, which is fine. In fact, I need to pay him. I didn't have my card reader uh, yesterday. But yeah, like there's always, when you build up a network, there's always gonna be people who can help you out. I just said to him, I've got very, very little left in terms of silver. I've been absolutely run ragged. My reserves are not completely depleted, but it's, it's getting there. And I don't particularly wanna order in from the big European suppliers because they've all whacked their prices up and I'm not sure I could even move it you know, it's great if silver carries on going up. But I think it's a dice roll, personally. I'm not saying it it's going to implode. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I think it potentially has more room to go up. But is it going to go up and pick, are the premiums going to be maintained? That's what I'm worried about, more than anything. I'll just check the spot price now. 
so it's 2150 now it's dropped it's dropped back a bit um gold's dropped back a bit as well it's it's going to do that it, there's always going to be times where it's it's charging and times where it needs to breathe a little so yeah i'm i'm pretty happy with that he's he sent me 20 ounces plus some gear soppers these are beautiful love gear sopper rounds he done me a good deal he done me a good deal on these as well which i just said to him I was like, i'll pay fair price so i've got no problem paying fair price for shipwreck coinage because i just like it you know that's not a problem in my end that's on the cap i haven't even seen these before i haven't been keeping on top of the silver market as much as i used to i used to be really on it i knew i really knew my stuff never had one of these before the oriental border so yeah i've got a i've got now moved the silver which is fine the queen again never had this i looked into getting some of these and i just i didn't pull the trigger in the end i just it wasn't really because i didn't want to it was it's more been since i've been working over the last six weeks bar the week i took off just having the time you know i have not stopped i've been absolutely killing it in terms of my earnings but i have not stopped and it it's kind of a double a double-edged sword though because if the work stops you know uh, that's my income it's gone so it, it's nice that i'm making it but will i be making it in three months that's the real question so yeah i think the moral of this video is ask your friends for help because they will help you um i've now got a i now owe him one which is fine you know like i've always tried to send things his way when i can um he's always helped me out he's just genuinely a good egg and on this occasion it's not a lot but he has done me a real favor. So will I go back to him and ask for more? Probably not. Um, because at the end of the day, he could have sold this for more. He could have just been like, well, actually I, I can make more money. I can make more money sending it myself. And he could, he can, you know, that's that's not a problem. He's in, but he's, he's chose to help me out on this occasion and I am really grateful for it. So if anyone is in the market selling silver, you know, um, I am a buyer. Um, I'm a buyer of all gold and silver at the moment. So anyway, it's been a bit of a, a long-winded one. I hope you've enjoyed the content and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.